Hey guys, how's it going and welcome back. Today, we're back to walking and talking. That's right. Just enjoying a little stroll through El Centro Merida. Because uh, you already know what's up. I got errands to run and uh, we're gonna walk and talk as we do those. So, today's topic is gonna be a little bit of a little bit of story time but at the same time it's uh, gonna be discussing as to well why I choose to live here why I want to live here and uh, not just here per se but you know abroad as well you know um, a little bit of a story time you know how I ended up moving to Mexico I'm gonna give you a long story short um, how I ended up moving to Mexico is more like a, on a whim I needed a place to live, couldn't find a place. I started looking abroad, and before I knew it, I found a place here. So I said, fuck it, and I moved out here. And that's basically it. That's a super short version as to how I ended up out here. But ever since I came out here, a whole new world, a whole new universe has opened up for me. And uh, now that I've been out here for over a year, I don't see myself being anywhere else. Hold on. And so it's it's uh, yeah, it's just amazing. It's it's freaking awesome. I mean, I can't even look at this selling meat on this on the just awesome. It's just no matter you know when you think you've seen it all, you see more. Look again. This is uh, the speed bump, the famous speed bump. Why we don't have uh, cops out here? you know um, pointing their gun and uh, stopping people for tickets for over speeding because that thing that thing alone if you over speed it'll fuck up your car and it's gonna be a lot more expensive than a ticket simple as that anyway so look another thing right here look at this right here you see how they have their lights on well so how they have their lights on what that really means is that they're in service, meaning that, remember, they're here for as a public service. You know, they're here to help, whatever. So if you ever see a cop with their lights on out here in Mexico, what that basically means is that, um, you know, they're, they're available so you can flag them down or, or you know, for you can take, you know, for whatever help you need with your car, with um, anything, with anything. I could, like, I could have waved them down and asked for directions or whatever the fuck, and he would have done it and uh, so on and so forth. So, you know, it's another misconception because, you know, where we come from back in the States, you know, every time we see those fucking things flashing, it's like, put your hands behind your back. You know, you, you already assumed the position without even fucking doing anything. Anyways. <coughs> but, <clears throat> sorry about that. Man, I always fucking trip over that same thing over there. So, it's just a regular uh, bus. See if I can cross it for. All right. So yeah, it's early in the morning, guys. By the way, that's why you're seeing a little bit of uh, action, and uh, you know you're gonna see increasing action as we move along. Anyways, let's get to the story. Uh, geez, I've already been fucking talking about all these other little things and not uh, not talking about why I love living out here, and not just out here. This is where I live now. But again, I'm going to be traveling again real soon. I don't know when, who knows, probably months from now. But the next, the thing, all I'm saying is that I'm going to be living in other places like this. You know, it might not necessarily be, you know, Merida, Mexico. It could be, you know, out in Southern Asia. It could be in Latin America. It could be a lot of different places. But after being raised, you know, in the US, pretty much my whole life and living out there pretty much my whole life and uh, having that kind of life out there and then being exposed to, to this it's like how the hell could I ever go back honestly in fact every time I do go back for whatever reason I gotta go back you know renew my visa visit family whatever I'm already like I'm running out I can't wait to get the hell out of there and um, you know, I'm not the only one. You know, there's plenty of you guys out there that also live out here. And every time you gotta go back to the States or anything like that, you know, you guys can't wait to get the hell out. And why is that? Well, again, 
I mean, you know, I made an episode the other day, you know, top six things, you know, that is awesome about here. And sure, you know, those things are obviously taken into account. You know, obviously those things are taken into account as uh, we talk about those things. But the reality is it's, uh, it's a lot deeper than that. Um, it's really basically more than anything else, you know, just the fact that um, life is so different out here that, um, you know, again, it's for some people, you know, some people love it. Some people really dig it like I do. Some people don't dig it at all. And um, like, um, I'll give you like small little examples, I guess. You know. Sorry, it's a lot of noise. <laughs> a lot of noise with all the trucks. I, you know, I haven't done one of these walk-in talks in a little bit. So, you know, trying to just get back into it. But, um, you know, at the end of the day, really, you know, when it comes down to it, you know, we're living out here in a place like Mexico or living in any other place that is not, you know, our first world country gives you so many benefits, you know, to quality of life that is insane. Like, at the end of the day, I, I mean, I, even though I might be living in a place that might not be a first world country or might not look like one or whatever, it actually does. You know, it actually is. I have, you know, why I love living here and I plan to continue living abroad and, and traveling abroad and all that other shit is basically man there's a lot of fucking noise in the street I think I'm gonna have to pick another street but basically you know the, the, the reason for all that is just the fact that you know when you're when you're living in a place like this yeah sorry about that <laughs> fucking I push a I pushed a button to turn off the camera by mistake. Uh, good thing I noticed in time. But anyways, like I was saying, you know, when, um, now every time that I gotta go back to the States, or I gotta be exposed to like, you know, first world country again, I, 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 you know, it's like it all hits me all at once as to why, you know, living abroad is so awesome. Because look, when it comes down to it, basically all we really need, for, them, for, for most of us, not for everybody, but all we really need is a roof over our head, food, and um, in today's world, internet. I mean, that's it. I mean, especially for me, I need internet. And, uh, you know, I get that here, you know? If I go to Bali, I'll have a roof, I'll have food, and I'll have internet. You know, power, electricity, what have you. And, um, you know, I watch a lot of travel videos as well, you know, from all kinds of people living on all, all parts of the world. And um, that's basically it, you know what I mean? Like, again, I know there's tons of people out there that need more stuff. I get that, I get that. I'm just telling you my own personal, you know, uh, heaven, you know, what I personally need, I guess, you know, to, to be happy. And I don't need much, I really don't need much. I don't watch TV. I don't. Um, I don't lounge around like just doing nothing. You know what I mean? Like uh, you know what I'm saying? Like uh, like oh, let's go to the mall. Let's go to the movies. Let's like I don't know. That's not my thing. My thing is like more living life. Like my thing is like uh, you know just hanging out with my girlfriend like we did this past weekend, and then all of a sudden uh, we're waiting for an appointment that, that was late, and we're like oh, let's just jump into this museum and hang out in the museum for a while. Okay, you know, like that's 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 awesome. You know what I mean? That's like um, again the things of quality of life type of stuff. So, you know, when you're when you're all of a sudden like um, you're a, a minimalist and uh, you're exposed to leaving, you know, the U.S. and living in a place that's actually minimalistic for the most part, all of a sudden you're like, oh wow! Not only not only can it be done, but it can really. Um, you know, but it can really be even more amazing than one would ever think. So, you know, to me, you know, I'm always gonna, you know, now that I've been exposed to living, you know, outside of the U.S., um, all of a sudden now, it's like I I'm never gonna see my, I don't see myself living anywhere else. You know what I mean? Like it's it's really that simple. I think I'm gonna cross. I think I'm gonna go down this other street because there's too much fucking traffic on here. Too too much noise. Too much distraction. I think. 
so yeah i mean you know in all honesty you know um i'm gonna be living here for a while once i get bored of living here um then i'll live somewhere else um and so on and so forth you know and where am i gonna live i don't know i don't fucking know yet you know i'll put my finger on a map and i'll land there like i did when i when i got here and um and that's the fun part you know what i mean like um now i'm with a girlfriend that she would be more than happy to do very similar things you know to travel abroad experience life um do art in other places explore all that shit so again you know um i, I was gonna do it alone i have been doing it alone for a while but it always helps you know also helps you know to do it with somebody you know you love that you want to do it with but um but i digress you know really you know now um it's not to say that i wouldn't go back to the u.s because i do it's not to say that um i don't miss the u.s because i do miss the u.s and so on and so forth but it's it's just so different you know i'll go to the u.s now like uh, to visit to vacation to maybe go do a job you know you know film something uh whatever you know what i mean you know just shit like that the, you know what my job entails but it's not like um i want to make that shit my permanent home i just don't not anymore you know um i would rather be living in a place like this is my permanent home because it will allow me to do more you know to travel more see more experience more and at the end of the day again when it just comes down to it you know um, as long as my basic needs are met which are i think it's noisy no matter where the fuck it's just so early in the morning it's like 9 30 in the morning let me see if i can jump across real quick so you know that's it my basic needs are met you know meaning that you know i got food really good food um i got water um i got a roof i got internet and electricity what more do i want that's basically it and um you know out here i could uh you know i could i could have all those things for a very reasonable price and on top of that have um you know a lot of time left over a lot of life left over to enjoy everything else as opposed to you know being back in the states you know because you know the thing is every time that i go back to the states you know my friends and family tell me this sometimes i hear it in the videos you know you guys leave it in the comments like oh why don't you come back why don't you live here how come you just don't get a job here why don't you do that here i'm like listen man i've been doing that shit my whole fucking life and um it hasn't worked out in fact it hasn't worked out for a bunch of people all right gracias <laughs> It hasn't worked out for a bunch of people and that's why you know again not only am i making these videos but these videos are extremely popular because everyone's in the same fucking boat as a matter of fact you know i'm sure that a lot of you guys you know see me walking around and uh you know some of you guys see like uh you know really shitty buildings and architecture and stuff like that and you're like oh i would never want to live there but some of you guys you know where you live has deteriorated so far so much so everything that you know even looking around here it's like oh this is amazing this is actually <laughs> kept up pretty nice oh wow we see you know um the buildings are getting remodeled and re you know built anyways so it's all the perspective it's all depending on where you come from what you want um out of life and all these other things for me i just want to live i mean i know that doesn't sound that complicated but that's basically it i just want to live my life and I'm out here, I get to live my life. And uh, not just live my life, but have plenty of time left over to continue um, figuring out, you know, what the fuck I'm gonna do next, and so on and so forth. And not have to be stressing out over having to work like uh, seven gazillion fucking hours a day, you know, just to pay bills. I don't have to do that here. You know, I'm um, here, if it comes down to it, and like i gotta pay rent or i gotta pay my bills and i don't have enough money listen man i can just do a couple jobs here and there and bam i got the money you know what i mean it's a lot easier to to make shit happen out here because you know the bills are you know next level of insanity everything here is payable everything it's what we call livable it's what we call um you know quality of life that's what we mean by quality of life it's not the, it's not just the, the point that oh um you know there's museums and uh it's nice
nicer weather or whatever. It's, it's a lot of fucking things that you gotta take into place. Like for reals. Oh. Yeah, sorry, I'm just trying to get through uh, traffic here. Look at that. A lot of traffic out here today. Shit. A lot of people traffic. Yeah. So yeah, anyways. Thank God I'm from the big city and I can just bulldoze through people, which uh, sometimes people don't do out here. But whatever. It's all good though. And look, there's another friendly popo. By the way, I don't think any of them are friendly, period, in the story. Um, there's problems everywhere, no matter where the fuck you go. But there's a lot less problems with the ones here. It just is. Um, just because they have no power. If they have no real power, then they're not gonna really fucking fuck with you, are they? They're not really gonna harass you, are they? It's a lot of noise. So this is 9.30 in the morning on a Tuesday. All right, guys? 9.30 in the morning on a Tuesday. This is how we roll out here in fucking Mexico. So yeah, it's cool. I mean, I, I, again, it's all about quality of life. All right, let's do this. So, I mean, you know, today we're just walking and talking, you know, just um, random thoughts in my head. But, you know, when it comes down to it, you know, when, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, when I get bored of this place and I move to a completely different place, it's gonna be somewhere where my dollar's gonna go a lot further, somewhere where I have this kind of quality of life, where I get to, you know, walk through, stroll through the park, um, you know, on a Tuesday morning, where I get to, um, you know, live my life, man. I don't know, I mean, it's it's just, it's really, it's, it's kind of like, I've, I've been so far removed from being in the US and being in that um, kind of like crazy fucking life that um, not only do I barely remember what it is to, you know, just be a regular human. Um, that it's like, you know, on top of that, like, it's like, I don't even want to know what that is. And I don't want to go back to that. I don't even want to remember that shit. I really don't. Because when I was in LA, a little bit before I came here, I had to be a little bit of a regular human. And I was hating my fucking life every single day. Um, just like a lot of you guys are right now. As uh, we all talk, trying to figure out how the fuck to get out. And that's basically it. Good. God, it's hot. But um, yeah, man. Look, just look how awesome everything is out here. I mean, you know, this is why I take my camera and I like to film and show you guys that you know. Again, not only is it not dangerous, but it's actually fun. Again, the one of the most dangerous things out here might be the sun for some of you people. That's about it. But um. You know, for me, what's dangerous is hearing this music, you know, as I'm recording because um, it might get me demonetized. You know, that's it. You know, these are the dangers I have out here. Uh-huh. Or the, the, the floor, you know what I mean? Like if all of a sudden, like, um, there's a crack in the floor and I s slip and fall on the crack on the floor. But basically, that's it, though. You know what I mean? For the most part, you know, for the most part, living in a third world country, if this is way, I mean, I don't even, I don't even consider this a third world country, to tell you the truth, but... You know, living in a place like this, it's just beyond amazing. I don't know if I even made any sense today with today's video. I feel like I just grabbed the camera and started rambling on. And I don't even know what the fuck I'm talking about because as I'm getting here to my destination, I'm starting to figure out, I'm starting to figure out that, um, yeah, again, I don't even know if I have a complete thought here in this video. Um, but if there is a complete thought to come out of it, if you made it all the way through to this video today, it's basically the fact that I'm never gonna go back to a first world country. I will, don't get me wrong. I'll, I'm gonna be visiting Europe, hear more music. The freaking music, oh my goodness. So anyways, uh, what was I saying? Look at that. <laughs> what was I saying? I forgot what I was saying. It's like, oh yeah, like um, even though I might, nah, I gotta cross the street here. We're gonna cross, all right. Follow, follow the herd, always follow the herd. Never follow the herd. <laughs> Don't be a sheeple. But, um, yeah, there's a lot of traffic out here this morning. Now I see why I go out at the time I go out because nobody goes out at the time I go out because it's too hot. Still not hot enough. All right, I gotta go. Where do I gotta go? 
and I gotta cross the street. So, all right, I'm gonna end this soon. In a couple seconds. Oh yeah, but you know, out here, you know, there's just so much freedom for so many things. Um, you know, there's like a holistic doctor there with holistic medicine, um, practicing medicine just like any other doctor, just like anyone else. Um, but yeah, look, at the end of the day, I'm never. I guess the thought that I really wanted to say more than anything else is just the fact that I'm gonna go visit first world countries and be in first world countries but I don't know if I could ever live in a first world country ever again. I would much rather live in a place like this that is still a third world country or second world country and then you know just experience you know just experience you know the just experience, you know, a place like this become a first world country. To me, that's a lot more exciting than already being in a first world country and just seeing, I don't know, the same old shit and seeing the first world country deteriorate into a third world country. To me, it's a lot awesomer to be in a third world country and watching this whole thing grow into a first world country and beyond. So, I guess that's pretty much it. That's why I choose to like not only live here and be in places like here, but, you know, going forward, these are the places I want to live because at the end of the day, even if I were to make it and uh, afford like a fucking uh, ginormous, uh, you know, mansion in the barely, you know, in, the, in Bel Air, in the hills or in any other fancy neighborhood out there, at the end of the day, you know, um, it, it's, it would be a million times cooler to have that same house out here on the beach or what have you. I don't know. You know, again, you know, everything you could ever want, you can get here and um, there's no real reason to not be in a place like this. I mean, everything you could ever want is in a place like this. Anyways, guys, I really hope today's episode made sense. I'm in a little bit of a time crunch. As you know, I got friends, family visiting. I got all kinds of shit, and um, I'm just trying to piece as many episodes together as I can um, so I can have stuff for you guys while I'm away with family. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you to all my patrons. Thank you to all my supporters. Thank you to everyone out there. Don't forget to please like, please subscribe, please share. And more importantly than anything else, I'll see you guys mañana. Peace out.